Mortgage rates are absolutely collapsing right now due to tanking bond yields and higher unemployment numbers that are leading to expectations that the Federal Reserve and the Bank of Canada aren't going to increase interest rates any further. In fact, the market seems to be projecting that interest rates are going to come down in the near future. And subsequently, that is making mortgages significantly less expensive. But there's still room for rates to go down. And I'm going to show you all the details with respect to interest rates. But before I do, do me that favor, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so more people like you can see this video. And if you're noticing that maybe you aren't subscribed, that's because this is a brand new channel dedicated to Canadian real estate content. So if you look down and you're not subscribed, just click that subscribe button. The other channel's still there, but it is now dedicated to wealth and finance as opposed to just general Canadian real estate trends. And by the way, if you still want to get my Rate Secrets course, which if you're watching this video, probably means you're in the market for a mortgage and interest rates, whether that be for a purchase or a refinance or something else, well, you can still get my Rate Secrets course, the retirement version, for $27. And if you get that version, you get all future updates, including the upcoming renewal update that will be released in the coming weeks. But without further ado, let's get into the interest rates and what is happening, because interest rates across the board are coming down. We are seeing update after update from lenders telling us that, hey, we've got a new rate special, interest rates have dropped, or some other change that is to the positive for Canadian consumers. And this is largely due to the unemployment numbers that came in recently, which is also not a good thing, but it means a good thing for interest rates. So it's kind of one of those catch 22s where we have bad news coming, people are going to lose jobs, but hey, it just got more affordable to get a mortgage if your mortgage is coming up for renewal or if you're buying new properties. So pick your poison on this one. But I wanna jump in and show you where interest rates were a month ago and where they are today. Now, keep in mind that five-year fixed mortgages in Canada are very much based on the five-year Canada bond yield. As of a month ago, that bond yield was 4.25%. It had been steadily climbing for the last two or three months. Now, with weaker than expected job numbers, so in other words, higher unemployment numbers, we're now seeing that number come down substantially. And that means, as you'll see in a moment, that interest rates are starting to come down. And just to touch real quickly on the reasons for that, well, the unemployment numbers are not looking good. 5.7% in October for Canada, and now rising to 3.9% in the US, which is a really scary sign for the US market and for the future of that economy. And let's be very clear here that when unemployment rises and rises consistently, that is usually an indication that a recession is right around the corner. Now, some are arguing in Canada that we're already in a recession. Only time will tell, and we're going to have to wait for the numbers to be released and revised two or three months down the road in order to determine if we actually entered it in October or if we're going to technically enter it a little bit later on. But needless to say, people are hurting out there, things are costing more, and people are losing jobs, which means we're not headed in a positive direction. So what does that mean for interest rates? Well, really simply, that means interest rates are going down. We'll start with the five-year fixed full feature mortgages. These are the types of mortgages that you get from non-bank lenders. They have better products because they have to have better products. They can't skate on their branding or their marketing budgets. So they actually have to have a product that is superior to those that come from the banks. And typically that comes in the way of lower payout penalties, as well as better service and representation that you can get from a broker. Most of the banks still won't allow you to have representation when it comes to making the biggest financial decision of your life, unless it is representation that is paid for directly by them. And I'm going to tell you right now, if the person you are getting advice from on your mortgage is employed by a bank, they absolutely have the best interest of the bank at heart. Well, maybe not at heart, but they definitely have the best interest of the bank in mind, because if they don't, they'll lose their jobs. It's that simple. So if they can get a couple extra pennies out of you, they absolutely will. And if they can ignore the fact that their pay penalties are significantly higher when interest rates start to go down, they're going to do that as well. So these are the best of the best mortgages. We call them the A plus mortgages. The banks will call them the B mortgages, but these are really the best mortgages that you can get in Canada. And as of right now, you can get them for 5.69% on an insured mortgage. Now, keep in mind, bond market yields drop significantly more than the 15 basis points that's being reflected here. And what that tells us is if bond market yields stay about where they are, there could be even further cuts to interest rates in the coming week. Now, if you're putting 20% down, you're looking at 5.94%. Now, keep in mind, this is going to be one of the highest rates because this is where the banks no longer have insurance and where they have the most exposure. It used to be if you put 20% down, you got the best rates. Now you have to get 35% down in order to get the best rates. 
or alternatively, you have to pay for mortgage insurance. 25% down, you're looking at 5.84%. At 30% down, you're looking at 5.79%. And at greater than 35% down, you're looking at 5.64%. Now, for uninsurable mortgages, refinances, mortgages over a million, or 30-year amortizations, you're looking at around the 6.44% range, although there are some options with the big banks that are slightly cheaper than this. Now, moving into variable rates, these have not moved much in the last month. They're pretty much the same, actually. They're not pretty much the same. They're exactly the same. Prime minus 0.9 on insured rates. 20% down, prime minus 0.55. Same thing for 25% down. Prime minus 0.75 for 30% down. Greater than 35% down, you're looking at prime minus 0.9. And for uninsurable refinances, over a million dollars or 30-year plus amortizations, you're looking at prime minus 0.25. Now, I'm going to throw the discount mortgage rates up here for you real quick, and I'll go through what these are. I'm not going to go through them in detail because once people understand the difference, they typically don't choose these, but these are the mortgages that are at a discount. And like anything else in life, if you get a discount, it's probably because you're giving up some options. You go to a car dealership, you see two cars that are absolutely identical. One's priced $10,000 higher, you know it's got more options, or it's newer, or it's better. That's the same thing for mortgages. If it's priced super low, it's because you're getting less features, less options, and especially in an environment where interest rates are going down, these are the types of options and features that you wanna have because if you don't have them, you won't have the ability to refinance, get a lower interest rate when those rates go down. Oh, and by the way, if you have a big bank, five-year fixed mortgage and interest rates go down, you're going to continue to have to pay the higher interest rate because there are going to be no options for you to get a lower rate in the future until your mortgage comes up for renewal. That's just the way their payout penalties are designed. And that's why you choose the non-bank mortgages that have cheaper payout penalties so that you can take advantage of lower rates when they become available. And getting into the variable discounted rates, if you want to see these, just hit the pause button, take a quick look at them, and you'll be able to see what those discount mortgage rates are. But again, these come with catch, and typically it means that you can't leave the lender until renewal, and that means you lose all your ability to negotiate with them, they've got you over the barrel, and you have pretty much no options. So it's once again getting cheaper for Canadians to get mortgages. It looks like it's going to get even cheaper in the next couple of weeks. And if bond rates continue to go down, and there continues to be signs that a recession is coming, well, these rates are just going to get lower and lower and lower. But keep in mind, unemployment rates are going to get higher and higher and higher. So if you're wishing for lower interest rates, you're also wishing for a lot of harm to happen to a lot of people. It's really just a no-win situation. Oh, and if your mortgage is coming up for renewal, make sure you check out this video here. It's really important to know that some banks are talking about deselecting clients if they miss payments. So make sure that you watch that video and you're prepared just in case when your mortgage comes up for renewal, you're told, hey, we don't want you as a client anymore.